Welcome to TwoMinEnglish.com, teaching you English through two-minute lessons. Today's lesson will tell you about adjectives and how they're used. Hello, dear learner. Today we're going to learn about adjectives. Adjectives are special words which describe something. When you use an adjective, you're saying something about a noun or the subject that you're talking about. Words like long, short, tall, big, small, etc. that describe something that are all adjectives. Pause the lesson and repeat the sentence whenever you want to improve your pronunciation. Make sure you listen to the vocabulary section at the end and improve your word power. Hello, Victoria. Can we talk about adjectives in today's lesson? Sure. Adjectives are words that give more meaning to nouns by describing them. They answer questions like what kind or how much. So the adjective describes the person, animal, thing, or place we're talking about. That's a good point. Good is an adjective. It gives more meaning to the noun point. So if I said, that's a valid point, valid would be the adjective. You look tired. Are you not well? I had a long day yesterday and had a disturbed sleep. Long and disturbed are adjectives. They describe my day and my sleep. Oh, that's why your eyes are puffy. I use puffy to describe your eyes. Yes, and thanks a lot for mentioning it. <laughs> By the way, do you have an extra pen? I have two pens, one with blue ink and one with black ink. Two is the adjective telling how many pens you have, and blue and black are adjectives describing the color of the ink. When I asked you if you had an extra pen, extra is an adjective. Here is an interesting idea. Why don't we say some phrases with adjectives? Interesting describes my idea, so it is the adjective. Sure, that's a beautiful house. This was my first bicycle. He is a slow learner. I buy and repair damaged cars. The lasagna is delicious. It is an empty hallway. That's enough. Now we don't have to be hesitant in identifying adjectives. Yes! Hesitant is an adjective in your sentence. Nice catch, Marshall. Let's listen to some sample conversations now. Hey, Ted. Your paintings are fantastic. Thanks, Robin. Yours look amazing, too. How many paintings have you sold so far? I've sold three. That's good. I've noticed that you use contrasting colors. Yes, I do. Your style is more peaceful, though. My friends say it's a reflection of my placid nature. Tim, I need to move out. My present apartment is unlivable. Why do you need to move again? You just moved a month ago, and you said it was beautiful. It's beautiful, all right, but my roommate Hannah is very annoying. Why is she annoying? Is she very talkative? No, but she's an insomniac. She's awake all night, and she keeps the TV running all the time. Valid. Something that's correct or reasonable. When you say something that is true and people will accept it, it's a valid thing. Puffy. Something that is swollen or bloated is called puffy. People use puffy to describe something that's bulging and out of shape. Hesitant. When you're not sure about doing something, then you're hesitant. For example, you might be hesitant skipping a red light because it's not the right thing to do. Contrasting. Contrasting means opposite. When something is contrasting, it is opposite or strikingly different than something else. For example, black and white are contrasting colors. They are opposite to each other. Placid. Placid is calm and peaceful. You can use placid to describe a lake or even a person if he's a calm person. Unlivable. When you're unable to live at some place because of some problem or issue, it becomes unlivable. An unlivable place is inhospitable or uncomfortable. For example, a dirty room and unclean room can be described as unlivable. So now you know a lot about adjectives. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you watch all the other lessons that we have created for you and practice on our website. See you again with a new lesson soon. Bye-bye.